And that's all there is to that. This is a space cowboy saying, keep your eye in the sky, catch a shooting star. We gone. Hey, YouTube, how you doing today? I'm just catching up a little, uh, little radio thing I'm doing. I have got so much stuff to tell you guys about. I'll tell you, it has been a good day for Zen Archer. That's for sure. A.K.A. Space Cowboy. Yeah, you heard me right. Oh, let's see. What do we got going on? Um, uh, got an email. Somebody suggested that I do a Who Is on, uh, on the owners of uh, the website that my last uh, that my last blog was about, I did and found that uh, all the information there was fictitious. Shock, shock. Um, what else is going on? Um, oh, YouTube news, folks. For those of you that, that watch YouTube news, uh, there's a temporary problem with the account. They're running is some technical difficulty, but they will be back up shortly. I am sure. It's just a matter of. Uh, uh, it's a bandwidth uh, measuring problem, I believe, but they're going to get that taken care of, so that's good. Oh man, I've got some music on today, as you can hear. Uh, just kind of relaxing, kicking back. I've uh, got the coffee brewed and uh, the cigarettes are ready to go. And uh, apparently, YouTube has done a uh, has done some kind of an upgrade. Yeah, little feedback there. Uh, YouTube has done some kind of an upgrade in which uh, we aren't getting, uh, when someone posts a comment to our videos, you're not getting in your email box. Lisa Simpson brought that up today and you know, saying she figured it out. A very good grasshopper. Um, yeah, well, YouTube's got to make money somehow, and, and they wouldn't be doing it if they weren't making money. Um, it's a shame that they have to make the, difficult, the system more difficult to use in the process. Uh, the way I've got things set up is I, I have a, a, a Yahoo Mail account um, attached to my YouTube. So what happens is uh, YouTube notifies my mail account that uh, I have incoming mail and then Yahoo Instant Messenger, which is the instant messenger that I use, gives me a little message in the corner of my screen that says a new mail came in and tells me if it was a comment or a friend request or whatever. It lets me keep up with things kind of on a day-to-day -day basis, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, uh, and uh, the whole system started to crash, and I couldn't figure out why. And uh, you know, my whole system of doing things, and it ends up that uh, YouTube's upgrade was the weak link in the chain. Hopefully, they'll fix that and uh, and realize that making things more difficult for us is not going to make things better for them. Oh, what else is in the news on a YouTube? Um, as, as uh, my last video states, and, and I'll remind you again, um, I completely support a boycott of YouTube talk until uh, uh, more recognizable people here are recognized there and until uh, they feel that uh, comfortable in letting us know who they are and, and perhaps what their agendas are. So I'm pretty much done with that. Um, I will remind you of a boycott every once in a while, however. Um, and in the long run, that'll be a good thing for them. And a good thing for the YouTube community. So I hope that they, they get those things done. What else we got going on? Uh, oh, you know, I got some new, I, I got some equipment here, and I thought you might like to see it. Um, I'm shuffling things around on the desk. My desk is always cluttered with all kinds of things, uh, cords and cameras and stuff like that. Let me show you the first thing. Um, putting cameras in people's hands and allowing them to, to vlog like they do here on YouTube is such a strong thing. It, you know, it's such an empowering thing for those people to take advantage of it. Uh, you know, uh, not taking anything away from from the the multitudes of women who are shaking their behinds and and the uh, people who would like to see this become Bluetube and uploading porn and things like that. Not taking anything away from them, but putting uh, cameras and stuff in the, in the hands of uh, the average user is a good thing. So I want to show you this. This is, a, uh, this is called a toy cam. Um, i trying to remember who it created. Oh, Digital. It's by, by the company Digital. 
And this thing, uh, it will take up to 19 pictures uh, at its highest quality, which is about 320 by 240 or something like that. It's not quality photographs, but it makes you do a nice snapshot. I use it a lot of the time when I'm doing quick snapshots on eBay in order to take pictures of uh, a product that I'm about to sell. So, you know, it, it fits in your shirt pocket. It, it's kind of unnoticeable. It will take a little bit of video, but it's not, not worth enough. It takes about uh, two AA batteries or AAA batteries in order to run it. And it hooks up to your computer. It can be used as a webcam. Uh, price on the thing, uh, I think I got it at Walmart for like 20 bucks. Can't beat it. For what it does and for having the, the quick accessibility to taking a photograph or taking a snapshot, you can't beat it. Item number two, the camera that I'm currently on, I've shown you on my videos before. It's a Creative Labs camera, uh, webcam, but I'm doing a real quick vlog uh, like this one. Uh, I just go ahead and boot the computer up, bring up Movie Maker, uh, Movie Maker 2, which is free with uh, Windows XP. I don't need a lot of fancy wipes and fades and stuff like that, although I have added a few to, uh, to the um, program. So it suits me well. It does. All, I do most of my recording on it, and uh, I do well all my editing on it. Uh, uh, in addition, I also use uh, Photoshop in order to uh, to do still pictures and stuff, and kind of crisp those up. But the cool thing I want to show you is something that I picked up the other day. Well, I picked up a while ago actually, and uh, it's a video camera that's called a palm quarter. Um. It will take up to, it will take up to, um, I think it's an hour and a half of, of constant video, which is really cool, and uh, it's really nice to, to carry around. I've got a strap on it right now. This, my friends, this whole thing here, this thing here, you know, in my hand. This is a full-featured camcorder. And it has wipes and fades and things like that attached to it. It's got a uh, LC screen or L LC LCD screen that uh, you know you can turn around. So you and you're looking at the camera, it can be looking at you. Um, it's really kind of a kind of a cool little camera. It, it went. I think I bought it for. Uh, I think at the time it was like three hundred dollars or something like that. So it's not very expensive. It takes some little tiny tapes. Let's see if I can get one of those out for you. It takes a little tiny tape called a, uh, a DV, DVC. It takes these little tapes and they come in in uh, 60 minutes, but uh, at uh, the highest speed for the camera, uh, you can get an hour and a half out of them. So it's nice. I, you know, I can put it in. Uh, I, I carry uh, like a backpack, or not a backpack, but like a fanny pack. I carry over my shoulder normally, a leather one, and this fits in it. You know, it's nice and convenient. I can put it in the glove box of a car when I'm going out to, to do some uh, shooting and stuff like that. Cool product. This one's by Panasonic. I'm sure that other companies make other brands. Just an excellent camera. And uh, some of my vlogs are done with this. Uh, when I go out, I also uh, use that camera to take uh, footage when I'm outside of here. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing, you know, Roger Dodger's going to love me because I'm doing real product placement today. But I'm not getting anything for it. I'm recommending these things because I use them and I like them. So this is, this is a tripod. This was, uh, again, Walmart. Uh, I think $15, $20, something like that, Walmart. It's a good, sturdy, heavy tripod that you can connect your video camera to and uh, or your digital camera to. It, uh, it locks. It, it locks uh, the rotation part also locks. And it's got these little tiny legs. What well, do you think? Oh, isn't that cute? But what's really cool about it, check it out, is that it's like a, like an antenna for a, um, like a car antenna, or like the old car antennas, or radio antennas. And when I put it on the floor, completely extended, it stands that high. So it's a full-sized tripod in a very compact form. You can set it on a desk or something like that if you want to use your camera there. Or if you're out and in, in walking about and you just want to, uh, to set a tripod up outside, you just extend the legs and do that. So 
you know. These are the things that I'm using for, for the video blogging that I'm doing and stuff. Uh, I'm probably putting a lot more energy into it than I should, but nah, that's the way it goes. At any rate, that's some of the equipment that I use, uh, other than uh, I've got about four computers here, all of them running Windows XP. Well, one of them running ME, two running XP, and one running still running Windows 98. And uh, uh, I use those. Also, I have a, uh, a Toshiba laptop computer that I use uh, at open mic nights and stuff like that when I want to get on the web and uh, uh, and vlog, or not vlog, but uh, contact my blog or my MySpace and check on messages and reply and communicate with people that way. So I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like a high-tech redneck. It's <laughs> what it really amounts to. I love the technology, and I'm a real gadget guy. What else is going on? Um, I hear that Tara got a new camera. Tara 916 got a new camera, and uh, um, we should be seeing some vlogs from her again before too long uh, with much better quality, I'm sure. Uh, if you haven't checked the website yet about, the, for those of you that are here for the Zen experience, if you haven't checked the website yet for uh, ChicagoZen.com, uh, it's an excellent, excellent site that will tell you, you know, what Zen is and, and go into into dharmas and, and things like that, and also invite you there for uh, um, for meditation and, and a sitting and, and that kind of stuff. It's all good. Um, definitely check it out. So. I'm just, my mind's racing here today. I've got about a hundred things to do. I've got laundry in, and I've got cooking to do, and, and everything else. Uh, I've touched base with a couple of people. Willie Smile, Will Smiles, uh, W-I-L-L-S-M-I-L-E-S, -L -L -E I think it is. There may not be an S there. You'll have to check. Or check my friends list. It uh, has, has returned to YouTube. That's a good thing. Uh, Will is, uh, is Scottish, and... Uh, He's been, been doing video blogs since like the 19, I don't know, like 1970 um, on videotape. And uh, he's put some of those up, but uh, he's come back and he's starting to do his YouTube uh, thing again. And uh, I'm glad to see it. So uh, welcome back, Will. Uh, Will Smiles. If you don't know Will, go over there and check it out. It, it's certainly entertaining video. Who else do I need to put a plug in for? Lisa Simpson. Lisa Simpson, excellent job on the uh, on the the college scene music videos and stuff. And Nick Tendo as well. He puts some up. Um, you know, excellent job to you both. Uh, keep doing it. Um, I'm not in college anymore. I, I kind of miss that. And uh, you you kind of let me recapture my my youth, as it were, uh, by putting those up there. And I'm sure that a lot of other people here that don't have an opportunity to see those bands uh, appreciate the, the work that you're doing. Okay, and one last note. Uh, there's another username here online. His name is Justin Flix. P-H-L-I-X. Just in Flix. All one word. Justin's a friend of mine and I showed him YouTube and he got all excited and he, we, we discussed uh, a magazine for him. Uh, because he doesn't have a camera and uh, he really didn't want to get his face in front of the screen. And uh, he got excited and we got him all set up and everything else. And I talked to him the other day and uh, Justin's got just got too many things in his life to do and he doesn't have the time to do it and said that, that he didn't think he was going to be involved. So what he did was uh, he gave me the password to his account and... Um, he said if I wanted to run with it, go ahead. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to operate Justin Flicks and, and do what the original vision was, try to make it uh, an online magazine type of thing. We'll put the videos that we talk about in, uh, that I talk about in the uh, favorites um, under issues. Each issue will have its own playlist and you'll be able to go there and watch the videos that are talked about in the vlog and kind of keep up on what's going on. I think that's a good thing. Uh, I hope it takes off. If, if it doesn't, uh, we'll, we'll probably still do it from time to time, but it will it will probably only be maybe a monthly uh, uh, magazine or maybe uh, bi-weekly, uh, but we're, we've got that in the works. Um, I think I mentioned YouTube News. Be sure that you get over there at YouTubeNews.com. A friend of mine, Roger Dodger, is doing a heck of a job. I had my misgivings when it first went up, but... Uh, 
he's got some television footage up and and uh, some commentary up and it looks like it's actually becoming a newsworthy uh, source for uh, for YouTube and I hope you will see it as well. All right, looks like I've done all the plugs for Walmart and Creative Labs and Panasonic and YouTube and uh, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Until next time, I wish you well and be well. This is Zen Archer. It's just another day.